Friends, I request you to kindly stand up and give a loud round of applause as our deputies make their way to the hall. It is an occasion to celebrate our parents and to refer our love for our country. And hence, we have chosen Vivid Bharat United India as the theme for this year's Father Francisco Sequera Talent Fiesta. The today's competitions help us to appreciate India's multicultural diversity and at the same time to foster its unity. This evening, we have with us Mr. Vivancio Quadros, Managing Director of Quadros Group of Companies as our Chief Guest. And Father Francis Carvalho, our next speaker. Our judges of today's competition is Father Onassis Nikos, Mrs. Anna Adelina Castro, and Irene George. Now, we wish to extend a floral welcome to our guests and judges. I request three novice and Sir Alvarez to present a bouquet of flowers to our chief guest, Mr. Ivancio Quadros. And three novice Nadu George to our guest of honor, Father Francis Carvalho. Now, I trust the company officers, David Fernandez, designed precious and lovely searching, and I welcome our teachers to the closing of the house. He completed his, his schooling at Marina 
English High School, Vedna, that did his class to a father and a second class. He graduated in economics and political science from SFS College, Mango. Besides, he has done philosophical and some theological studies as well. Later on, he completed his MBA at KC College, Bombay. In 1993, he entered into automobile business. Presently, he is the chairman of Quadrus Group of Companies. We extend a warm welcome to you, dear sir. Our guest of honor is our very own Reverend Father Francis Carvalho, ex Superior General of the Society of Milan. Father Francis is from Pune, Goa. He was ordained a priest in the year 1976. He has served for many years in the Diocese of Port Blair and other parts of Kolkata province. He completed his doctoral studies in Canon Law from the Pontical University in Rome. In the year 2013, he was selected as the Superior General of our society for one term. Presently, he is a teacher of Canon Law at Pilar Theological Institute. He is an avid reader and a good writer. It is my privilege to welcome you to your heart. Coming to our judges this evening, we are happy to have with us Reverend Father Lassen de Cruz, Adam George, and Mrs. Anna Regina Lassen. First, I would like to say something about Reverend Father Lassen de Cruz. He is a priest belonging to the Archdiocese of Goa. He was ordained in the year 2012. He has a bachelor's degree in mass media from St. Jesus College of Mumbai. He obtained his licentiate degree in sacred theology from Yanaki Pathum. Currently, he is serving as an assistant to the director of St. Joseph Bar's Renewal Center, Old Goa. He has written and directed many company, short films, plays, and drama as well. Our next judge, Irene George, is a counseling psychologist by profession. From 2012 to date, she has been working as a counselor at Father Akhil College of Arts and Commerce, Milan. She was previously associated with an NGO in Cuba working towards the prevention and protection of children from abuse. She actively conducts group therapies and sessions on men, mental health related issues. <coughs> she is just cheerful and believes in finding joy in simple and little things in life. Our third judge, Mrs. Nena Adelina Vasco, is a teacher by profession. She graduated in BA from Padakabin College of Arts and Thomas Pilar and then did her BA from Dr. Dada. Vaidya College of Education, Honda. At present, she is, a, she is teaching at the Mandalay Part of Mary's School, Goa Vedda. Her hobbies are singing and dancing. She has participated and secured prizes in various competitions. So, once again, a hearty welcome to our judges of today's Talent Air Star. I would like to welcome the spirits of Minor Seminary, Father Arnil Apostolic School, and Father Arnil Ketan, who are all geared up to display their talent on stage, and I wish them all the best. Finally, I extend a warm welcome to you, dear fathers, brothers, and other invited guests who are the audience. Your presence here will definitely encourage our young students. I end this welcome address hoping that all of you will have a wonderful time with us this evening. Thank you.
In our Indian tradition, we begin any formal function with the lighting of the lamp. The lighting lamp symbolizes the presence of the divine mixtures, for he is the eternal light. And dress are the gifts to the living forward and do the orders of lighting the lamp.
on 17 February 1999, the mom will be behind seeds of hope. Thus, the children will survive the society of the God, which is not so new. After watching the video, I have gained a lot of information about Francisco Zubera. His life is truly inspirational. Sare Jamaas Yachya, Hindustan Amara, Ham Bul Bule Hai Iske, Ye Gulstan Amara. Up next is something that will stir your hearts with patriotism. To create the right ideals on this Republic Day, our pre novices are all set to perform a patriotic song medley. So sit back and enjoy this one. Oh, 